So Blackmagic Design just released the virtual result of 18.1 and right now is a lot of interesting new features and effects to use in Resolve. One of them that stands out to me the most that I want to take a look at in depth in this video is voice isolation. I'm really super pumped about voice isolation because I can see myself using this a lot almost every day when I edit just because of the type of work that I do and record on a regular basis. So let's get into DaVinci Resolve and take a look at how you can use voice isolation. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and as you can see, I have three clips laid down on my timeline. The first one is an interview. So this is an interview I shot on location. It wasn't planned, it was an impromptu thing and I do this quite a lot sometimes at events. So this was a fashion show, fashion exhibition and I had this interview done. But as you can see, I only had this Road Wireless Go clip to the talent and just had the interview. So you can hear a lot of background sounds, background music happening. So let's see what voice isolation can do for us in this situation. So I'm going to play the clip and then we can hear the raw audio. Of, um, student designers coming together to, X to show their uh, design. So you can hear all that music in the background, all the noise, all the sound in the background. So I'm gonna play through this and while it's playing, I'll turn on voice isolation so we can actually see exactly the impact of this feature on this audio clip. Uh, so tonight is really just kind of um, student designers coming together to, ex to show their uh, designs. Nice. Just for it to kind of do a little bit of an exhibition. So we're just kind of walking through. Everybody can see the materials, touch them, see that, you know, they're, they're movable. They're gorgeous, but they're still practical clothing. Very so. stunning. So as you can see, it made a big difference. Right. They just kind of um, student designers coming together to ex to show their uh, designs. Nice. Just for it to kind of do a little bit of an exhibition. So all of the background sound, the background music is all removed. And this is awesome because before it will take me quite a long time to be able to clean this out properly and isolate her voice. But now with just one click in Resolve, you can get this done. So very neat feature, very interesting feature. And I think I'm going to use it a lot. Now let's go over to the second clip here. This second clip is a video of me, a BTS I shot at a beach. And so I'm going to play it and you guys can hear what it sounds like with the waves behind me. Um, I also recorded with my Rode Wireless Go. So let's play it and see what we get. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, my name is Evans and uh, it's been a while since I uploaded any content on this channel. And that's because I've been doing a little bit of traveling. So, so there we go. We could hear the waves splashing in. I'm going to send this playhead back a bit and I'm going to start playing it and then I will turn on our voice isolation. Again, my name is Evans and uh, it's been a while since I uploaded any content on this channel and that's because I've been doing a little bit of traveling. So if you haven't seen my travel videos yet, they may be coming up shortly or they may be up already. And uh, it's been a while since I uploaded any content on this channel and that's because I've been doing a little bit of traveling. So if you haven't seen my trap so as you can see it's cleaned out the sound really good but for this particular video maybe i want to get a little bit of that waves in the background and that's where the amount slider comes in and so i'm going to play through this one more time and watch and listen as i bring up bring down the amount slider back to the channel once again my name is evans and uh it's been a while since i uploaded any content on this channel and that's because i've been doing a little bit of traveling so if you haven't seen my travel videos yet they may be coming up shortly or they may be up already. And uh, it's been a while since I uploaded any content on this channel. And that's because I've been doing a little bit of traveling. So if you haven't seen my travel videos yet, they may be coming up shortly. So you see somewhere around 50%, I can still get a bit of my voice coming through and a little bit of that waves in the background. So it just isolated the voice quite well. And you can still hear a little bit of the waves, but now the waves are not as harsh and as loud as they used to be before. So that's where you can play with the amount slider to get a good balance between the voice and the background. All right. So this last clip is one of the clip from a recent trip to Africa. And you can see the streets were busy, um, honking everywhere. And I was trying to do a vlog. So this is a vlog style clip. Let's see how well this will do. So select the clip. Soup. Now, this place was my regular walking area. All right, so you hear all the background, the cars, the honks, right? Fourth Street, um, Osu. Now all right, so let's now play back and then turn on voice isolation and see what we get. Oxford Street, um, Osu. Now, this place was my regular 
to Oxford Street, um, Osu. Now, this place was my regular walking area where... And as you can see, it's done a pretty good job of reducing that background noise and isolating my voice. Uh, in a scene like this, as usual, I'll play with the amount, right? Just to get a little bit of that ambient sound in there. Um, Osu. Now, this place was my regular walking area where I always used to be. So somewhere around 60% maybe for this clip. Um, Osu. Get some a little now, bit of that this place, but not too loud and overpowering, right? Regular. I love this effect so much, and I think I'm going to be using it quite a lot. So far, we've been applying this effect in the edit page on a clip-by-clip -clip basis, right? But you can also do the same thing and apply it at a track level. So let's go over to Fairlight page. And in the Fairlight page, you can now apply that effect right here at the track level. So at the track level, you can turn on voice isolation for the entire track right here. And when you are here, you can also see you have control about the over the amount. The interface a little bit different, but this is your amount slider in this case. So you can use it on an entire track. You can also use it on an individual clip, either in the Fairlight page or in the edit page. So there we go. That's the voice isolation new voice isolation effect that has been added in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. If there is any new features in 18.1 that you would like to see me make a video on, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the voice isolation effect and um, whether you like it or not, right? And I'll see you in the next video. Keep creating, stay blessed.